Hey guys, this is NGMC Productions, and today I will be showing you how to um, get iOS 5 Beta 2 working on an iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch without the need of registering your UDID with a developer account. Um, the files you will need will all be located in the description below the video. You will need iTunes 10.5 Beta 2, um, iOS 5 Beta 1, and Beta 2. You'll need both beta files for your corresponding device for this to work. Make sure you've got both of those. You'll need Red Snow version 0 0.9.8 Beta 1, and for Windows users, you need iFunbox. Now what iFunbox does is that it allows you to SSH into your device without the need of installing OpenSSH from Cydia. But you will still need to be jailbroken to do this. But um, I, as of now, do not know of a Mac program that allows you to do this, that allows you to get into your device without OpenSSH installed. So you will be on your own for that part, so I am sorry. So as you can see, I've got iOS 5 beta I've got iOS 5 here on my iPad and uh, up here it says unable to complete your activation in iTunes so I'm not active I'm not a uh, I'm, my iPad is not on a developer's account so first thing you'll need to do after um, upgrading to iOS 5 beta 1 is open up red snow okay so you've got red snow opened up on your computer I'm using a Windows computer I'm going to click on browse and then your iPad iPod or iPod touch will have the beta 2 on it right now but what you need for red snow to work is to direct it to the beta 1 file okay this is why we need the beta 1 firmware. You're going to use the beta 1 firmware with red snow. Alright, open up there and allow it to process. Okay, the IPSW is successfully identified. You will click the next button and wait. Alright guys, while you are waiting for red snow to load up, what you're going to want to do is put your device into DFU mode. And to do that you need to complete, you just need to hold the home and the power button for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then release the power button and continue to hold the home button until your computer recognizes the device as mine has done just now. All right, so your iPad, iPod, whatever is now in DFU mode. Back on Red Snow, you will come across a checklist here. It'll say install Stadia, install custom bundle, just boot tethered right now, and just enter Pwn DFU mode right now. You're going to, to click the first one, install Cydia, hit next, and it will, if you put your I, your device into DFU mode correctly, it'll just go straight to mm -hmm. Straight to um the process here. And now on your i now on your device you should see this image on the screen. You will then see scrolling white text, and then you will see this image of a running pineapple. And then afterwards your device will just reboot normally. So you have now successfully jailbroken your iPad, iPod Touch, or iPhone on iOS 5 beta 2. Afterwards, you're going to go to your computer. On your computer, you're going to open up iFunbox. Again, for Macs, I don't know what program you can use. You'll just have to do some Google searching. Then, over here on the left sidebar, click on Raw File System. Then, look for the Systems folder. Then, the Library folder and the core services folder. And there you should see system version.plist. 
you're going to drag that out of the folder double click on it My, it should open up in wordpad or notepad and then right here the last two lines you'll see release type and beta I'm going to want to delete those last two lines go to file save as and save the document as a text file somewhere where you can find it and save now back in ifunbox you're going to delete the original plist file drag the new dot text file into the folder and rename the text file to plist and you will then open up red snow and tether reboot your iPod, iPad, or iPhone going through the same method we used to jailbreak. Except this time around, instead of clicking on install Cydia, you're going to want to click on just reboot tethered right now. Click next. And remember, you should be in DFU mode before clicking the next button, or you can it just remember be put in DFU mode. You can rewatch the video if you need to do that. And now on your iPad, iPod, or iPhone, you should now be looking at a screen with a pineapple in place of the Apple logo. You will then come back to the slide to setup screen. What you're going to want to do then is slide to setup, select your region or country, select your Wi-Fi network. I will cut here and come back when I enter this in. Okay, you're going to get your Wi-Fi set up. Next. Let's activating your iPod. And here you can either set up as new iPad, restore from iCloud backup, or restore from iTunes backup. I'm going to restore from an iTunes backup. Click Next. Alright guys, so my iPad just got done restoring in iTunes. It's going to bring you back to the slide to set up page. Say rest, restore complete. Your iPad is restored successfully. Just a few more steps to follow and you will be done. So continue. It will have you enter your Apple ID. It will verify. Then it will ask you if you wish to set up iCloud. Switch other on off down there. Click next. It'll ask you if you would like to either have iCloud period every once a day back up your device to iCloud or you can manually back up your device to a computer. And then it'll have the um, option to find your device in case you lose it. Click next. It'll have to see start using iPad. And there you go. You are now in iOS 5. You got messages up here. Got newsstand. Got reminders. Everything's working. My my iPad is recognized in iTunes, and I can now sync and get all my songs and apps and movies on my iPad. Alright guys, this has been how to get iOS 5 Beta 2 without needing to register your UD ID with a developer account. I hope I helped you guys all out right now. Um, please comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for the next video.